Hello everyone, Eileen here with another Lavinia Stamps video tutorial from me to you. Today I'm featuring the absolutely beautiful Lavinia Stamps Indra Moth, along with a couple of other stamps and a very busy abstract background. So let me show you how. I have some Lavinia Stamps Multifarious cardstock in white and I've cut a square 12 and a half centimetres by 12 and a half centimetres. A couple of sheets of copy paper and some Elements inks. So I'm using Della Blue, Russet Orange, Confetti and Sundance. These are quite inky ink pads, so I'm having to watch the fingers <laughs> make a change. I'm also going to be using a couple of other things from the Lunia Stamps website. Acetate Hill Masks and Acetate Moon Masks. I'm using one of each. You can use whatever size you like moon mask or circle mask I think they're called on the website and these hill masks doesn't matter which one you choose I'm just using that straight edge and it's just to apply some ink fire a brush to give me a uh, proper abstract background so starting off with some pink confetti and just doing a few lines Vertical, horizontal and angles. So starting off with a vertical line down, not putting too much ink on. And then up, you get a few splodges, don't worry about that. One, two, and then I have another one here, I think. And then another one here. And the lines don't have to be straight at all makes no difference. Sundance is next. Change the brush. Anywhere you like, any angle you like, wipe off the mask and then we're into blue this is very dark so I want to be careful with this one gently does it here should do it so you know you've got quite a few lines it's all and angles and now I'm going to put in a few curves via the moon or circle mask going to start off with russet orange like so gently does it it's quite a strong colour. I want it to be quite bright, but not overpowering. Like that. And I'm going to wipe my moon mask and bring the blue back in here. I'm not inking up though. I'm not putting too much blue on, just a tiny amount and then taking a lot of it off. And then over in this this oh sorry um i'm doing and not really thinking of what i'm saying i'm just wiping it again that's what i meant to say and then going back to the pink and then coming down with that like so 
and then going up with the pink again. Like that. And then I'm going back to the orange, so wiping the moon mask again. Back to the orange. I've got a lot on the brush, so I'm going to stick with that rather than re-inking. And then over here, again. So I'm getting, I'm just building up a few shapes as you go. Quite random. I'm going to put some pink on this area. And again, just using the surplus ink on the brush. There we go. And that should be it, <laughs> more or less. And a bit more blue. I think I need just a tiny amount of blue here so that we can see there's a blue mask or moon. Yep. Quite happy with that. Right, now I'm going to alter it totally by just adding water now and blending some of those shapes together. So let's turn this over and then taking my spray bottle gently, but from a distance, don't saturate the card, but just add enough water and then leave, leave it. Pop it down so it's flat and you'll see that it will start bleaching. I'm just going to give you a close-up so that you can see the action that I'm getting. Can you see? That looks really good in close-up, doesn't it? And you've got all of that bleaching action. And I'm just leaving it and it's still working. I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to drip it or anything like that. I'm just going to leave it until I can see that it's finished totally. And it looks as if it's just about finished now. So going back and then getting kitchen towel, a sheet of kitchen towel. Pop that down, that will stop the bleaching action. These element inks are dye-based, water-based. So they react with water, of course. And I found that they react with water even in a much more dramatic way than distress inks do. So there's obviously properties in the inks that are different, but I really like the look that that gives me. I'm going to dry it off now. So I'm going to give you another close-up. I think I could do it without, yeah, look. So I've really got some nice texture there. Mm, happy with that. Sorry about the squeaky chair. Okay, background stamp now, just to add a bit more texture. I've got some words here and it's fairy spells. And I'm going to use Warm Breeze. It's not a very inky pad. So I don't think that I'll be using second generation. I think I'll just go for it because there's not a lot of ink on there, I don't feel. So down we go. Try and keep it straight. Over, over on the left-hand side at the top of the card. Yes, that's good. And then over a bit more to the left. Yes, and pressing heavily now. And then down the bottom and bringing it over to the right. So all down that side. And I've got the words. You can read them, but they are not too overpowering. Right, okay. Sorry about my dog barking. Right, next, what's next? Oh yes, now I'm going to stamp the beautiful Indra Moth. 
and I'm using my stamp press for this, my Misty. Okay, popping in the card. So, I won't be able to go too far over here, I don't think. Let's see what she's like there. All right, I need to swing it around so I can see what I'm doing. That looks about right. So, I'm taking it off just to double check. So pop that on there, down there like so, and so I've got the antenna on here, and like down she goes. I've got the the antenna on one of them, and the other one is just off. But I've got the bottom part of of the moth on and most of the wings. So it's just stamping off a little and then making sure that that's down firmly. And now I'm going to ink up. And I'm using Versafine Claire Nocturne. And I've re-inked this pad so it's nice and juicy. Pressing quite firmly, as you've probably gathered by the way I'm rocking the table. And it's a large stamp, so I want to make sure it's well covered. Over we go. Make sure that's in place. Right, fingers crossed, because that isn't, that cardstock isn't held down very well on this right hand side there's no magnets there well that's good oh that's good okay relief all round <laughs> fine so i've got a lovely image there now i'm going to pop in the words and the, my words are, secrets are hidden in the most unlikely places. Drop my stamp pad on the floor, which was useful. There we go. Secrets are hidden in the most unlikely places. This card is, is bent and buckled, but it will eventually go back into place. If not, I'll put it, when it's totally finished and dry, I'll put it inside a heavy book and uh, flatten it out. Okay. Gently tapping, filling up with the ink. Not turn again. Right, so that should be okay. And then press down and up. Oh, drop my stamp on it. Oh, caught it. I'm not having a good time, but actually it's not too bad. How many of you have done that? <laughs> so get the eraser, we'll take out that. No problem. Need my brush. Uh, 
and then there's a little bit of black line here you can go and you can go as well that's the beauty of an abstract background if I can't get rid of it all then I will put some white pen on it but actually I think I'm going to get rid of it all it is going yeah good that's gone that was lucky if I was going to drop the stamp it was dropped in an area that did me the least damage oh. okay so carry on then chilled yes <laughs> oh dear stars are next so I've got some lovely little stars from the pound section of the Lavinia site but again got to be careful with this don't really want to be too heavy-handed with this stamp gently put the ink on and gently take it off because they don't like this stamp doesn't like to be handled too uh, with too much pressure so I'm going to pop it down in the middle and up and then another one here in the middle press and up and then another one maybe here in the middle and up so I'm happy with that no surplus ink anywhere from what I can see big relief all round and then finally well a few more things to do I don't know why I said finally um, I think a relief that all the stamping was done and it isn't too bad <laughs> oh. oh dear now brush Lavinia stamp stencil brush love these and warm breeze just going to go around the edges put a bit of color on like so lovely day today really gorgeous out there warm too warm and sunshine can't ask for more can you well winning the lottery might be good <laughs> okay Just a tiny amount of ink just to bring it in. I'm going to now colour in the body and use some glossy accents. So this is glossy accents. It's a clear dimensional medium. Don't If you've not used it before, don't shake it. It doesn't like it. Um, I'm also going to use some enamel accents. Similar thing, only they, uh, it's really got this um, bright white colour. And it looks like enamel when it's dry. And again, they don't like to be um, shaken either. Um, and a, a gold pen. And this is a gold sparkle pen. And you'll find this on the Lavinia Stamps website. I'm just doing the head of my moth. And then I'm going to fill in the body as well right the way through. So talk amongst yourselves for a moment while I do this. These gold sparkle pens are Uniball sparkle pens and they are on the website. I don't know if Tracy's got many colours on there, but they do all different colours, but the gold one is my favourite. Try not to go outside the lines.
So that's the body. And now for the glossy accents, which if you've got any lines from the pen, you know, it looks a bit scratchy. Don't worry, this glossy accents will take all that out and make it look really smooth. Self-leveling this stuff, really clever. Just need to take your time a bit though with it. And then I'm coming right down the body so all these are joined together, to be honest. So I'm not being too careful and doing a section at a time. I'm giving it a wallop all in one go. That's looking good. That's looking very good. Right, that's the glossy accents. Now, a few enamel accents, making sure I keep the cards level because I don't want that. Glossy accents will run if you start holding the card up and playing about. So I want some, some dots here. If you can hear squeaking, that's Ken upstairs playing with the dog. Two, three, four. She's got this toy and he keeps playing with it. I don't know who gets the enjoyment out of it, whether it's the dog or Ken. I tell you what, you better not make too much noise. Because <laughs> I've nearly finished this demonstration now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on that one. And let's see. Oh, we're still holding this down. Oh, so to stop this bit bending, I'm bending this one. I'm in between a rock and a hard place here because enamel accents don't like you to move them either. Three, four, and let's have another one there. Five. So how many have we got? One, two, three, four. I need, oh yeah, another Another three here, just three. One, two, three. Tiny one there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right, now do I chance putting, putting a line all the way around the outside with my Sharpie? Of course I will. It's one thing I do like to do is to live dangerously. So one there, trying not to put my fingers anywhere they shouldn't be. And there, oh, nearly. Oh, I bet you're all going, oh, what a silly woman. <laughs> yeah, I am a bit foolhardy, I think. Three. And then one there. Okay. Right. Now I'm running out a bit of out of time here, so I'm just going to very quickly just say that I'll put that onto another piece of card. And the other size card that I've used is for the layer, and I have it written down here somewhere. Right. Twelve and a half and twelve and a half centimeters for the top up. 15 and a half by 15 and a half centimetres for the layer that you see in the background. Let me move this on here. And this will flatten out this card, so don't stress. And then the final card, which is here, is 20 centimetres by 20, which is 8 by 8 inches. So... Oh, I am taking a risk doing this. <laughs> okay, now listen, folks. I hope that you enjoyed that because some of it I did. <laughs> some of it I thought, ooh, <laughs> a bit stressful. So I will say, <laughs> thank goodness I finished that. I loved every minute and I'll see you again soon. I'm sorry this isn't flat, but I know that you'll forgive me. So listen, take care, you all.
and I'll be back soon. Bye for now. Thanks for looking and thank you for your lovely comments. Bye bye.